Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And precious saints, I'm coming to you from the prayer mountain as we are pressing in to this 14 days of prayer and warfare midnight prayers and it's great to be on the mountain coming to you so that we can push into God but I believe that within this hour there are two major things going on that we can see that these are the signs of the Lord's coming and one of those is that Jesus was warning his disciples according to Luke 12 verse 1 to 3 and it says in the meantime when so many thousands of people had gathered together that they were trampling one another. And he began to say to his disciples, first off, he says, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light. And what you have whispered in a private room shall be proclaimed on the rooftops. Precious saints, we are in that time now where there is major hypocrisy within the church of Jesus Christ. And I mean within the priesthood. Within the priesthood, there is major hypocrisy. And things are about to come out into the light even more than ever before, especially in 2024. So it's our opportunity to walk with the Lord, to walk right with Him, so that we may not be like the Pharisees, not be like the hypocrites, that we say one thing, but we do another. If we're going to say we're going to do something, let's do it. Let this year be a year that we're going to serve the Lord like never before, precious saints. So I believe that that's also something. Now, also, when we turn to... Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 to 4, it says, Knowing the first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. We are in a time of the scoffer. We are in a time of the hypocrite, precious saints. We are in a time right now that in these end times, Jesus said that these things would come. Uh, the apostle Peter is warning the church that these times will come. We're in a time right now where people are scoffing. They are scoffing the return of the Lord. They are scoffing to say, hey, yeah, the Lord's not going to come back anytime sooner. But mind you, everything around us is pointing to the very opposite, that Jesus is coming back. So if you are not eagerly waiting for His appearing and looking for Him, you are not going to go with Him. And why do I say that? Because according to Hebrews 9.28, it says, So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for Him, He will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. Precious saints, He is coming back for those who eagerly are waiting for His coming. Are you eagerly are waiting for His coming? Are you desiring His coming? You can't just sit on the fence in this hour. You must be eagerly awaiting. You must be anticipating. You must be watchful. You must be prayerful also as the Bible states. So the Bible encourages us to be watchful. The, the Bible encourages us to pray for the Antichrist is coming for all that refuse His mark and His ways, precious saints. He is coming for those people. We must be watchful. We must be prayerful. And the Bible says, according to Luke 21, verse 36, Watch therefore and pray always that you may escape. You may escape that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and stand before the Son of Man precious saints we must be watchful we must be prayerful always there are 21 global tragedies that are about to come upon the earth with over 
one third plus of the world's population that will die that is left here during the great tribulation precious saints there are 21 world catastrophes about to unfold everything we see now within this dispensation is just a preview of what is about to be released upon the earth and then one third of the population plus will die precious saints it is time to prepare it is time to be watchful to be prayerful it is time to be eager and waiting we are living in the time of the scoffer we are living in a time of the hypocrite may our lives be pleasing unto the lord may our lives be pleasing and ready for his soon coming precious saints the bible also says see there's going to be a meeting in the air but will they those scoffers be prepared i don't think so the bible says according to 1 thessalonians 4 verse 16 to 17 for the lord himself will come down from heaven with a shout of command, with the voice of an archangel and with a blast of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first and then we who are alive and remain on the earth will simultaneously be caught up. Being caught up is being raptured. You might say, well, the word rapture is not in the Bible, but the word caught up is. We'll be caught up together with them the resurrected ones in the clouds to meet with the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Precious saints, these scoffers, these hypocrites are just living proof that Jesus Christ is on His way very soon. So I want you to be watchful, to be prayerful, to be eager and awaiting His coming. There's so many today that are watering down teaching so that you are not preparing. Do not listen to them, but be eagerly because only those that are eagerly awaiting His appearing will go with Him. Don't be like those that say, hey, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen this way. It's not going to happen that. You just be ready. You just be watchful. You just be prayerful. Heavenly Father, I pray for each person. May we be watchful. May we be prayerful. Lord, may we, we, we repent for any hypocrisy within our lives. Lord, we repent if we have also been like a scoffer that has scoffed other people that were preparing, that are appearing, and that are waiting for the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ on that day of being caught up with the Lord. Lord, I pray for each person that you would prepare them I pray, Lord, that you would bless people. I pray, Lord, that you would touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet because we know that you're coming back soon. We know that your appearing is coming back soon. Lord, prepare us. Prepare us. Prepare us to be that sanctuary, pure and holy, ready for your coming. For with that holiness, nobody will see the Lord. So, Lord, I pray for each person in Jesus' name. Come and touch them. Come and fill them today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Now I have some words of knowledge also. There is somebody with a pelvic, uh, either a shattered pelvic or a fractured pelvic. Someone has a fractured or a shattered pelvic. If that's you or a friend of yours, let us pray together that God will bring a creative miracle to bring a quick healing a quick recovery to that person that has been injured, that has uh, or has recovering from an injury. So Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would just come and heal that person right now. Heal that person's um, pelvic right now. Heal that area. Heal that area. Mend it. Lord, bring a creative miracle to that. Bring a quickening to that healing in Jesus mighty name. There's also somebody with a sprained wrist. Someone with a sprained wrist. May the Lord heal you right now. Heavenly Father, I pray that as they place their hand upon their wrist, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will bring healing to that wrist right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I come against also arthritis. 
I come against arthritis in the body. Hear the word of the Lord. I command that arthritis and that pain in the joints, in the bones, to leave them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody with an injured hand. May the Lord heal that person with an injured hand. You've injured your hand recently. May the Lord heal that person. There's also somebody that's injured their foot. In actual fact, I believe that it was in the laundry that God uh, God is showing me something to do with the laundry and someone injured their foot. Or maybe it was their hand within the laundry. But Lord, I pray that you'll bring healing to that foot, healing to that hand right now also. Lord, that this occurrence that took place in the laundry. There's also uh, someone that has been body shaming yourself. And God is saying, stop body shaming yourself and stop talking to yourself that way. But start to talk to yourself like a good friend would and speak positive things about you. Don't talk to yourself as though you're the worst friend that someone could possibly have because some people are doing that. Some people are body shaming themselves and God is saying, I created you. You gotta start to talk to yourself as though a good friend was talking to you. A good friend would only speak good things for you and would also encourage you, uh, you know, to do exercise or whatever is needed but stop body shaming yourself. That is a direct word for the Lord. There's also, uh, the Lord says that uh, there is someone that's been praying for a car. You've been praying for a car uh, because you need to go to work uh, with this car or it's going to make it easier. I'm going to pray right now for whoever that person is that's been praying for a car and also related and it's keyed in with employment uh, waiting or employment current. So Heavenly Father, I pray for that person that needs a vehicle. God, that you would send divine helpers to bring that vehicle. You would also open up the doors, bring a financial blessing to that person today that they may get that right car and get the right car, not the wrong car in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody I saw walking into a house. So somebody's about to either move into a new house or doors are about to open for that. So Heavenly Father, I pray for that person. Lord, that has been uh, going to walk into that situation. Lord, I speak your blessings, your provision to come upon your people. Lord, that as we are in the time of the scoffer and the hypocrite, Lord, we pray that we shall not be those, but we will seek you with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, Lord, come and touch your people today. Come and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet in Jesus' mighty name. Come and heal them come and deliver them, come and set them free today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And precious saints, if you've liked this today, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or our free website, Repentance Revival. Dot com. Precious Saints, it is time to seek Him. We are currently in the middle of the 14-day Midnight Warfare program. I would encourage you to join. Get your families to join. If you can't do it at midnight, choose a suitable time that you can do it as a family. Get the children involved. Get them to agree after each paragraph and say Amen. Everything I say that I tell people to do, I do myself. My children do it with me all the time. They fast with me also, even as I'm fasting through this period. They are also, they also join. They also uh, participate. I encourage it. Make sure you do. And if your spouse is not 100% on board, you can invite him to join the prayers. Invite him to join the fasting. We have people for the first time, they are joining the fasting and prayers with their spouses. Sometimes we just need to ask them, make them feel welcome. And then if they refuse to, then they should give you the grace for you to do it and to bring the children and get them involved. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.